and the holiday season is officially upon us. So it is going to be the time for lots of parties, lots of dressing up. One of the big things that's in this year is velvet. I have had this velvet dress for years and it's looking a little past its prime. It's not looking like a fancy dress anymore, even though I'm acting like it is for this video. But I've been wearing it with a t-shirt underneath and some chunky boots and it looks super cute and very modern. So take a look at your wardrobe, look at things a little differently. Right now this year, velvet. Okay, so I am playing with this new palette that I got and still trying to figure things out. I have my BB cream on and my powder, my concealer and a little bit of eyebrows. Uh, put a little bit of lip balm on, a uh, balm lip stain, and then wiped it off. Just enough to give me a little color so I didn't look dead right at first. This is the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette that I am playing with. And as you can see, these are not colors that are really standard for people with silver hair. So I find this to be a particularly challenging palette because it's just not designed for this color. But all of these neutrals have a cool undertone, which means we can fake it. So today I'm gonna to play with these colors right here that really don't look like what you'd put on somebody with silver hair. Uh, with this palette, let me, let me see what these colors are called. These are Cinnamon and Cozy. So this is cinnamon and this is cozy and we may bring in another color but we're not sure which one yet. It might be this, it might be this, it might be this, I don't know. That remains to be seen but let's get started on our two basic colors and create an evening festive party look. This is not um, total glam, this is not going huge, this is you know, your office party, you're getting a little glitzed up, but you're not going for total va va boom It's not the intention at any rate. I do already have on some e.l.f. primer on my eyelids. This is a Sigma brush. It is a flat shader brush. Now, you get a lot of drop down if you just brush it, if you stroke it on, if you sort of pat it on and then smooth it out, you get a little less droppage. Another Sigma brush. This is a diffused crease going in with the cozy right in the crease. Now both of these shadows look very matte, so they don't have a sheen to them. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit right on the inner corner and also up on the brow bone with this color, which is called Balanced, and it has just a teensy bit of sheen to it. And I'm going in with a domed utility brush, which really makes it sound like I know what I'm doing, doesn't it? See, that is the problem with trying out a new palette. That color is a little darker than I wanted it right there. Uh -huh. I mean, it's fine, but it's not giving me the oomph that I wanted. So I'm gonna wipe off that brush. I'm just gonna accept what's already there. My diffused crease wiped off. Let's blend that a little bit. And now we're gonna go in with this sort of vanilla tone up here, which is called sugar milk, hard to say. So we're going with that color instead, instead of this one. This is a better choice. 
these things happen when you try something new for the first time. Let's add a little blush. This is going to be a crazy blush. You've never seen me use a blush this color. This is Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. I know it's practically a bronzer. Really don't want a lot of pink on this look. I'm going to line my lips because this is very red and I, I want to just stop seeing that color. So I'm going to line my lips with a Essence Lip Liner in, in the Nude. Essence in the Nude. Oh, I'm going to leave the glasses on. It makes it awfully easy to see my lips. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in SMLC04. Well, that's not a very exciting name. SMLC04. Soft Matte Lip Cream number four. That is an unusual feeling lip texture. I mean, it's creamy, but it feels weird. Not what I'm used to. Also doesn't look like what I'm used to. We're going to take our Clinique Roast Coffee and going to completely surround the eye, just as we do when we do a smoky eye, except we're not doing black, we're keeping it in the softer brown tones. I want to line the waterline, but I don't like this color for it. I'm going to get a, a dark blue to uh, use on the waterline. This is a dark blue pencil that I have had for far longer than I should admit. It's a very dark blue with almost a teensy bit of green to it. It, it says May, which means, leads me to believe that this was an Almay pencil but I've had it for a very, very long time. I think we want a bit of a darker tone right on the outside edge. And now, which one do we wanna go with? This tone or this tone? We want the brown. We're gonna go with the dark brown. Now this has a bit of a shimmer to it, so I wanna be very, very cautious. I don't want too much. I'm gonna go in with my little tiny smudge brush. And using the same smudge brush, a little bit of that dark brown underneath right on the outer corner. Now time for a little mascara. Today I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure. Little bit of orange highlight one under the eyes.
also known as eight hours sleep. And I think a little bit more uh, precision on the eyebrows. And that is a fun, festive, holiday look appropriate for an office party, not too over the top, just a little bit dressed up. Let's try a couple of different lips with this and see if we can't improve it. Uh, the NYX Matte Lip Cream, it's very nice. It's very safe. I have blue in my hair. Safe is not really a thing that I do, but um, this is a nice safe choice. This is semi-safe. This is one of my favorite lip glosses. And I can tell it's my favorite because I just bought this yesterday. This is Burt's Bees in Fig. And I was at CVS yesterday and I went, oh, I should grab that Fig. I remember I really liked that color. Yes, I liked it so much. After I opened it and took the little seal off of it, I realized that I had two more in the drawer that were partially used. So clearly I am a fan of Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Fig. Here is why. Pretty much looks like lip color, but is soft and moist. So probably isn't appropriate for a nighttime look, but well, I just bought another one and I had to use it to legitimize my buying another one. And I wanted to tell you that if you want just a basic lip gloss that you can put on when you have no makeup on and just have like lips but better, this is a good one. Okay. It is nice though. I like it with these eyes. But it's not quite nighttime. Let's kick it up a notch. The eye is not so strong that we can't do a bold lip. Let me go get a bold lip. A few days ago, I did a video where I did pinks and cranberries and I had a great new Maybelline lipstick, which I went out with a friend the next day and promptly lost it. I think I owned that lipstick for 24 hours, woo. And then of course, you know, I had to buy it again, but I didn't want to buy the same one on just the off chance that he would find it. Um, so Liz, if you see it in Sean's car, it's that's mine. You can borrow it, but I do want it back. So I picked up another one. This is color number 420. It is something cherry. I will identify that better. It is deepest cherry. Maybelline number 420, deepest cherry. Was I hungry when I went to CVS? I got cherry lipstick, fig lipstick. Hmm. Actually, I was. I had an audition yesterday morning, and it's about it's about three and a half miles from where I live. So I took got a car there because I had on four inch heels, and then I popped the four inch heels into a bag and put on my tennis shoes, and I walked three and a half miles back home in a cocktail dress, and very heavy makeup. I can only imagine what people thought when they saw me walking by. But you know, you get your exercise wherever you can, right? I should use a lip liner. Shouldn't I? I should. I'll go get one. This is NYX Mauve because I already know I like it. Now, I think it's too, now all of a sudden everything looks really goth, really dark. 
probably looks pretty good on film or on camera. But I feel like if I do this lipstick, I want to bring some of that burgundy into the eyes and I don't want to mess with that this time. Let's try a different one. This is an interesting lip gloss, one I hardly ever wear. Uh, this is, I've had this for a long time. It's NARS Orgasm Laguna as lip glosses and never really cared for the texture all that much. And the Laguna is just too brown on me. But I think that might be good right now for this season. So let's give that a try. Probably should put a liner on it would have been better, but we're just playing. Bit of highlighter, I think. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the highlighter from my Flushed 3 palette. And then just for fun, we're gonna take a little bit of a shimmery powder and put it right in the center. Which one? I'm going to take this, this mid-tone shimmer, this very peachy one. on my pinky. you are having a fabulous day. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. Sometimes I do things seriously. Sometimes I do not. Mostly I just play. Um, I don't consider myself to be a makeup artist. I'm an actress. Uh, I'm an entertainer. I am a dork and a goofball. And I just like to have fun and play with makeup. And I think you are awesome. You keep being experimental, keep playing, always have a good time. Love you bunches.